Neighborhood Organizing, November 4th, 2017. So she's evaluating right now the house. She's already done one evaluation, but if you were to be a painter, like Catherine is, then you would look at it like this. You would start by hand, apparently. No. <laughs> this is how you paint. It's you, a slow process. Yeah, taking every little piece off by hand with your finger. You got your fingernails ready? No. Yeah. What? <laughs> I, I, I had you guys come because you have fake fingernails, right? No. Yeah. So what, yeah, what you guys, what needs to be done in order to start painting a house? Yeah, you do a walk around and you look and see a huge job, about $4,000 worth of work in 36 hours. TahoeEcoTours.com organized this. Two months of planning and organizing. Here you can see the house. Gloria Jarvis, she didn't have any means to paint or clean up her home. Been driving by this house for years and wanted to do something, so I decided to do something about it. Step one, identify a need. If you see something in your neighborhood that could use some cleanup, maybe a house with lots of trash or weeds around, that would be a good start. So you wanna make sure that you get permission. Don't then overthink this too much. Just talk to the person, ask them if you can help. Step three, identify resources. What will you need to get this done and who can help? Ask your friends, beg them to help you. Step four, Time to promote. Choose a start and end date. Create a sign-up sheet. Promote on social media. Waste management donated 10 free dump runs, 400 bucks. All it took was a phone call. You're gonna work really hard, uh, but the rewards are, are really, really great. And step five here, professional advice. If you aren't an expert, find somebody who is. They can give you a lot of advice. Step six, prepare. Get food, drinks, and Get all your materials ready. Step seven, play music. Music makes the work a lot of fun. Sunny Day Organic Farms, Rebecca Stetson, she donated her work truck. Sherwin-Williams, they donated 20 gallons of paint. That was worth 500 bucks. You gotta be positive about this. You got it. Even if everybody doesn't show up, we had about 40 people sign up. Not everybody showed up. Step eight, greet your crew. Talk about the tasks and the duties. Give them a choice about what to do. Step nine, start working. Work with your crew. Make it fun. Prometheus Paint donated $1,500 worth of equipment and labor to make this happen. Here you can see some of the students learning to use this equipment. So they're gaining job skills. And they're having a pretty good time. Step 10, problem solve. Problem solving efficiently so that your work can continue. Step 11, work hard. You do the riskiest and hardest work. Proctor Hug High School students, six students showed up, 36 hours of work. Step 12, don't give up. Remember the cause. In this case, it was Gloria Jarvis. There she is on the right. Step 13, celebrate. Be proud of the work and talk about it. Talk about what you did. Step 14, keep your contacts. You may want to do this again. Who knows? Proctor Hug High School and TahoeEcoTours.com helping an elderly woman, 585 Hood Avenue, Reno, Nevada. Donors, Prometheus Paint, Sherwin-Williams, Waste Management, Sunny Day Organic Farms. How to Organize a Community Event, starring volunteers Brenda Jacobs, Zara Lopez, Asili Tupelo, Angela Vaccarano, Jonathan Garcia, Kate Sanchez, Jacqueline Caceras. This video was edited and all media was by Cairo Plascon, TahoeEcoTours.com.